Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, I'm pretty excited and pretty hyped up, and I think a lot of you guys may or may not have heard the news. If not, and you guys have not heard the news all throughout today so far, allow me please to take the honor to go and break it to y'all, because this is actually one of the biggest games we'll be watching throughout this year, has now been officially announced in terms of their release date, collector's editions, and everything else coming out from here, and this is for God of War. Ragnarok. Now, you guys may have heard the news, but this is something that I feel like is definitely warranted for a special video. Number one, mainly the fact that I am so astronomically excited for this in the first place. Number two, all the rumors and all the release dates and stuff are finally coming out, so we can finally know exactly when it's coming out. And as well, just want to give you guys all the details, the official statements, PlayStation blog posts, and everything else too as well. So, a lot of stuff to go talk about, so let's go talk about it. As well, if any of you guys are brand new, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for that PS5 giveaway. We have the Amazon sign-up links for everything down below. Of course, when it comes to the actual uh, collector's editions, we'll probably let you guys know too as well. We have the Twitter and Twitch if you guys want to follow and all the Target links and everything else down below. And let's go dive on into it. So, very first and foremost, this is exciting. If you guys kind of missed it, we had a lot of leaks, a lot of rumors. Some people were speculating on a state of play. Some people were speculating on it being delayed to 2023. We had people being harassed. We've had everything. Like, this has probably been one of the craziest and, in all honesty, somewhat probably scariest when it comes to game releases, but also kind of to go, does go and put the God of War Ragnarok into a 2022 potential game of the year, if it's actually good. But for this, we now officially have our PlayStation blog post. So, first and foremost, I'm a little bit surprised in the fact that they didn't actually do a proper state of play, but typically they'll maybe, like how they did in the last one, tweet about it, PlayStation blog about it, get dates, and then they might actually have a purely dedicated state of play in the future. Now we get that just because uh, like they want to maybe go and showcase up new features, they want to maybe highlight specific things. What makes sense, that's kind of how it was for Horizon Forbidden West. We had the release date, then they did a proper state of play a few weeks later, and with this, this is an exciting headline to see. God of War Ragnarok launches November 9th, new CG trailer has now officially revealed. So Kratos and Autorus fight to survive another against mounting dangers in the brand new God of War Ragnarok father and son CG trailer. So God of War Ragnarok is officially coming to PlayStation 5 and 4 on November 9th, 2022. My big comment for this video, are you guys going to pick it up? Are you guys going to get it? I am probably going to be the probably the biggest yes you guys have ever seen. I will love this game. I love the first one too as well. So uh, we are thrilled to finally be able to share our release date for the brand new God of War Ragnarok. Father and Son CG trailer with all the God of War fans who have been eagerly awaiting news. We hope you enjoyed a glimpse at some of the dangers Kratos and Atorus could find themselves up against as Ragnarok approaches. So if you just want to go check out the trailer, PlayStation themselves has already uploaded it. I think it has a bajillion views already on YouTube. And as well, we also have the God of War Collector's Edition Unbox. So don't miss the official unboxing of God of War Ragnarok Collector's Editions with Thor actor Ryan Hurst and Santa Monica Studio Art Director Rafael Grassetti. If you'd like to check out the different editions for God of War of Ragnarok, including the pre-order bonuses before pre-order begins on July 15th at 2020 at 10 a.m. local time. Reminder, though, we have sometimes seen retailers go earlier. Uh, we saw this a lot when the even on the official PlayStation 5 release, you know, when they're going for the restocks and such. They're like, yeah, everything tomorrow. And then like a few hours later, people are like, boom, 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 boom. Here's some games. Here's some information. Here's like the actual restock. So keep that in mind. So for the latest update, and God of War, make sure you follow the actual Stony Monica studio over here, and then also here's a check out the gallery of stills from the CGI trailer, or CG trailer down below. So I want to show you guys some of these, because this game is, as I mentioned, looking pretty, pretty good. So we have, uh, you know, the good old, like, these are, like, these are great. These look fantastic. I can't wait to actually play this game over here, too. And obviously the game itself will probably look pretty similar to this. And I'm sure you guys have probably had a chance to go check out and play the previous God of War. I hope you guys have. It's a very good game. So with this, we finally have the official release date. We can finally go and showcase up the game. And I'm just excited. Like, I'm going to be 100% with all of y'all. 
I am excited. There has been, like I mentioned, so much drama, so much controversy, and so much everything else behind this game. And this is just, I think, because people are just looking for any game they can go and play. They're just excited. They want to enjoy it. They want to enjoy the graphics, enjoy their PS5, and have a good reason for their PlayStation 5 in the first place. Although, a little bit of a quick side note, we did also have Forspoken actually go and get delayed to as well which does stink. We did have that properly get delayed, I think, into early 2023. So at this point, I'm just happy this game is actually coming out and there wasn't any delays and hopefully not so much on the developer crunch side. But like some of these stills, I mean, granted, they're all kind of in like the somewhat same area. You can kind of see like, you know, very similar, similar pictures, similar vibes, you know, all this type of stuff as we're looking, you know, through all the baddies in the background, everything else. But it does look good. It is getting me excited. I mean, like, look at this. Like, look at how crazy this still is, and look at how crazy this will be inside the game itself. I am so hyped up. I'm so happy we have <laughs> official dates, finally. Thank God. Now, as well, we also do have the Collector's Edition, too, as well. So, if you guys have had a chance to see this, the God of War Ragnarok Collector's Edition unboxing. Plus, details of all the game's different editions, from standard to the Jrutnor, which I probably said the wrong edition. The winds of Filbor Winter have already begun to blow, and Ragnarok is coming. On November 9th, 2020, to be exact. Before pre-orders are got to war, I'll begin and open on July 15th, so only a few weeks away, or, yeah, like two weeks away, about a week away, over here as well. We'll take you through all the editions of the game, as well as the launch edition items. So basically, they actually had a chance to do the full-on unboxing. It looks cool. Well, I'd be buying the Collector's Edition, and I'm not a big Collector's Edition guy myself. Are you guys going to let me know? So I guess you just want to see more of them, too, in general. But you guys can see this. So this is like the launch edition items over here where they have uh, additional downloadable content. Basically, even Kratos some nice, you know, knight in shining armor over here, too. You guys can see with this. Looks kind of cool. Looks all right. Uh, when you purchase God of Work before launch, you will see the Kratos Risen Snow Armor and our Taurus Risen Snow Tunic for the cosmetic. Space with this one, too, as well. A voucher code to redeem this like stuff as well, if you guys care about that. You guys get the Standard Edition. Comes with the full game for either PS4 or PS5. If you purchase the God of War Standard Edition for PS4, you can also thankfully upgrade the PS5 version for $10, which seems like the standard right now for Sony. If you guys want to go for the Digital Deluxe Edition, you get the full game available for PS4 or PS5. You get the Dark uh, Horse Digital Mini Art Book. You get Kratos' Dark Dale Armor, which I think kind of looks a little goofy, I'll be honest. Or Taurus actually looks a bit better. You also get the Dark Dale Blades handles, um, and also you get the Dark Blade grip as well. And on top of that, you get the Avatar set, you get the PS4 theme. I still wish they would bring themes to PS5. Pretty sad they couldn't do it. And also the digital soundtrack. And then as well, when it comes to this, this is the Collector's Edition, which they had a chance to just showcase there in a second. I think it's cool. Well, I want, like I said, well, I want to buy this. Probably not, but I'm just excited this game's coming out as a release date. So you get the Steelbook display cases with no game disc included. Over here, we have the two in veneer twins carvings over here. You get the Dwarven Dice set, which I know I have like some, you know, some friends who rock out the D&D &D and stuff like that. They would love that. They play board games. They would love that. That looks so sick. This 16-inch Mordor <laughs> replica. This would be kind of really cool to go and showcase up in a, like, you know, like behind your setup or whatever. I think it's cool. And I also do like the idea of the box itself. Well, I'm not really still sure on the price points. Maybe we'll cover it up in a second the article. But, like, this is cool. You also obviously get the game itself. You get all the armor and blade handles. Got the cosmetics, the soundtracks, and all of that. But I think this is, like, generally cool stuff. I do like this as well. I was going to call it to give you a random, like, you know, <laughs> mini fridge. So, as you've seen the above video, the God of War Ragnarok Collector's Edition comes housed in a beautiful box representing the key Knowledge Keeper Shrine. The shrine was the tripishish <laughs> that Kratos and Notorious came across in God of War 2018, uh, depicting the tale of a powerful seer. The giant sorcerer is called Groa, too, as well. So, basically, with this, you have all the stuff we mentioned, too, on top of that as well. And you can also get the Dyrdot Nuror edition, too, on top of this as well. Which you guys can go and check out and see. Where it has the also vinyls too as well by Barry McCree. You get the pin set too and a few other little various things. You get the ring. You get the dice sets too. Just everything else. Like you get a lot of little various side things. Once again, I'm not the biggest fan of collector's editions. But all around cool things nonetheless. So they do have it all. Officially now begins until November 9th. All the pre-orders for July 15th for all the cosmetic stuff. 
And like I said, let me know if you guys are excited. I am very, very excited. Let me know what you guys thought about the trailer. And as well, let me know if you guys are going to pick up the game or any of these collector's editions too as well. So make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on as well for the brand new PlayStation 5 giveaway. Amazon links down below for all the signups. Twitter and Twitch stream down below if you guys want to follow. Target links as well and all the usual various stuff. Leave a like if you guys are hyped because I am myself. We'll have a bunch more videos all throughout the rest of today.